In today's tutorial, I'm going to be going over the NVIDIA control panel settings as well as in-game settings for Watch Dogs 2. And for the in-game settings, um, video set to full screen display 1, resolution 1920 by 1080, refresh rate 60 as the target refresh rate, VSync normal, field of view 90, or you can do 110. Uh, which going up to that point to lose you five frames, but you can do either one of the two that you choose 90 110 or default Pixel density is best to leave at 1.0 the gains of 1.25 just ain't significant enough versus the performance hit to even consider it. Okay uh, Now as far as the display settings you should be good to go there now on the quality side um, Again this for if you're running less than the 980 Ti all right, if you if you are like 980, all right, maybe even 980 can get away with these settings. Just start here and start tuning back uh, some the MSAA, depending on your graphics card performance. All right, so you're gonna want to set it to custom for geometry. You're gonna set it to ultra for extra details. You're gonna set it to 100% on extra details. We want all of that. Terrain, you're gonna set to ultra. Vegetation, you're gonna set to ultra. Texture resolution, ultra. Texture filtering, ultra. Shadows, ultra. Headlight shadows. I'm going four cars, but this is something that, depending on how particular you are, you can actually turn that down to two cars, uh, four cars. It don't, I don't. It's not gonna matter unless it's basically four cars in the scene. Then you might notice some performance hits. All right. So for people who performance picky and don't really mind headlight shadows, you can turn that down to two. Uh, or leave it at the default and if you want everything you can get out of the game you set it to four all right water high because it's high as it go reflections high because it's high as it go screen space reflections ultra san francisco fog on depth of field on motion blur off uh, I personally don't like motion blur but if you like motion blur and you want to turn it on you can you're more than welcome to um, I, I'm, I'm just not a fan of motion blur myself, so that's optional. Um, bloom on ambient occlusion. Without a doubt, you want to take ambient occlusion off of whatever it is. If you use the NVIDIA graphics card, you definitely want to go HBAO plus, 100%. Okay. Um, temporal filtering definitely off. Uh, the effects was off, offness and color. Um, Temporal filtering is more for, I would say, below a 780 graphics card, maybe. Multi sample al anti aliasing. Um, again, if your system is uh, 980 below, I recommend MSAA by two. All right, you can push four if you can handle the performance hit that you would get, but you're gonna want to make that adjustment in the NVIDIA control panel. All right, which I'll show that later and specify that this portion. Of the nvidia control panel is for the less than 980 ti all right so because above it it'd be different but below it um it's going to be smart to go with this msaa by 2x and then in the nvidia control panel you're going to need to change the um refresh rate okay so but we, we i'm gonna show that next all right so that's it for that post processing anti-aliasing off you can shut it off the smm the smaa i tried and again, this is one of those ones where it's going to be your personal preference, where you're going to have to turn it on and see the difference in color quality, because that's what it affected the most, in my opinion, was the color quality. Uh, so you can check that out. You can try that set. And if your system's still struggling, but the recommend, you know, the preferred um, for the most you can get is off. All right. And that'll conclude the settings for those graphics card. Now, if you're running a 980 Ti or above, you can do everything the same. All right, you can pretty much do everything the same except for MSAA. You're gonna want to put that on four. Okay, that's the difference. So if you got a better graphics card, that's what you can play with MSAA by four A. Even if you got a 1080, maybe you'll be able to pull uh, the X8. Okay, you can try it. Just start with the highest and work your way down. I can't with the 980 Ti pull the eight. I'm actually can pull around the four and be in around 40 frame range. Okay, so that was where it was the most comfortable. All right. So that pretty much conclude what you got to do uh, in the 
in-game settings. So next we're going to do the NVIDIA control panel. And we're actually going to try a couple things that involve, uh, and this part is for the 980 Ti and above, where we'll be doing another edition of this. So for now, for that portion, I'm going to turn that off because that's the first thing we're going to do. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here in a minute. This next step actually relates to uh, the display being pixel density of 1.0. And this also relates to the quality of the multi MSAA. I uh, remember that's to get rid of jaggies. Now, since you use multi sample AT analyzing to try to help get rid of that kind of uh, those extra little edges and imperfections, um, we're gonna leave all that off, and I'm we're gonna try another way to do it. All right. So right now, with that off, uh, set up for the next part of the 980 Ti. Our performance for frame rate is. currently 60 frames a second all right so you average 60 frames a second if you basically just shut off uh, all of that stuff I showed you and you run in the 980 Ti or lower this is what it would look like without MSAA at all all right so you can you could definitely get away with the 2x it would drop you to the 46s to 50s uh, up to 53 so you'll take a minimal frame hit but that's that's your choice again all right so now this is the part uh, where things get interesting. We're going to quit out of here. And we're going to hit the NVIDIA control panel now. Okay, so in the last part of the tutorial, we're going to cover the NVIDIA control panel settings. Uh, what you're going to want to do is right-click on your desktop, open your NVIDIA control panel setting. Uh, you're going to want to add Watch Dogs 2 to your program settings list. Okay, now this part of the tutorial is particularly for those with less than a 980 Ti, all right? You're going to want to set everything like I got it, which will be changing CUDA GPUs to selecting your used GPU, whatever one you're using. You're going to want to increase, uh, you're going to want to change a multi-display. If you ain't using multi-display, if you're using multiple displays, just leave it at the default. If you aren't, you're going to want to set it to single display performance mode, okay? That's pretty important for this game. Power management mode, you're going to want to set preferred to maximum performance. Shader catchy, you're going to leave alone. Texture filtering, you're going to turn off. Uh, negative LOD base, you're going to set to clamp. Texture filtering quality, high quality. Texture filtering optimization off. And if you're running less than the 980 Ti, I highly recommend changing the vertical sync to fast. This, this is going to be your most significant difference. I guarantee you. Uh, you, you'll notice a heavy difference in the performance of the game if you use these settings. Alright, and that pretty much concludes the tutorial for Watch Dogs 2 in-game graphics settings and NVIDIA control panel settings for 980 Ti graphics cards, uh, or for less than 980 Ti graphics cards. This means 980s and below. Alright, so if you're running 980 equivalent or below, um, I can pretty much assure you that these settings are going to give you the very best you can get out of the game. Okay, so in this part of the tutorial, we're going to be covering the NVIDIA control panels for 980 Ti's or better. Okay, so if you got a 980 Ti or better, um, you're going to want to go into your NVIDIA control panel settings again. Go back to your Watch Dogs 2. You don't have to run it in fast. You don't have to, but you're going to want to come back here later and uh, adjust this. Um, depending on how your system perform you may you may like fast better though so but for now we're gonna put that to the default don't click apply and that's it all right you're just gonna turn vertical sync back to the use the application setting it's the only thing you're gonna do differently than anybody with less uh, than a 980 Ti I mean a 980 or below you're gonna go over to your global settings you're going to turn your DSR on. Um, you want to go. You could turn on, you know, we'll, we'll do them all to see which one looked the best. And this is to circumvent using the in-game pixel density. All right, I, I believe that pixel density within the game ain't doing a good enough job. Of actually, even making it look better, it's not sharpening the image, nothing. But DSR will. So I'm hoping that DSR has a more significant impact than the 1.25 um, in-game effect. So uh, DSR smoothness, I prefer at zero. So you can, you know, adjust this to how you 
like your game all right so if you want a little bit of blur in there you could turn it up if you want it completely sharp turn it down and then you're gonna apply that and that's it that's all you're gonna want to do if you got higher than the um, 980 Ti or the 980 Ti or better now for the for the part to try to sharpen this image now like I said in order to bypass the in-game um, pixel density, which you can increase up to 1.25, all right? But when we did that, it, the difference wasn't that significant and it wasn't that clear. So to bypass this, we're using the NVIDIA, uh, NVIDIA control panels dynamic scaling resolution um, to increase that pixel density, all right? So we're gonna turn up we're gonna do a one by one we're gonna just go up one you won't really be able to see this on stream or in the tutorial but trust me i'll give you the honest result okay now right now we basically um at 1.25 Oh my god okay this is what you need <laughs> this is definitely what you need to do all right so don't use the games in-game pixel density use the DSR scaling resolution in the Nvidia control panel that is that'll be a definite uh, benefit to you um, what I'm noticing is that the setting in the game as I said it don't really um, increase the overall graphic um, visuals but it does destroy the performance but when you use the NVIDIA control panel settings um, DSR scaling function, you get that pixel density without the added performance hit. So now we're going we're gonna to go up another notch because it ain't changing my frame right now. Okay, so now at the second setting, it's starting to affect uh, my frame rate I've dropped down to 42 now okay and, and, and if you have a 1080 um, if you got not better than a 980 Ti you know please do drop in the comments how your graphics card performed what was your performance settings um, before you change your dynamic scaling resolution how high were you able to get uh, your refresh rate and with the MXAA did you have to stay at 4x did you make it to 8x um, I'm just curious in the performance difference of that graphics card like would it really make that difference so um, before you try the dynamic scaling resolution try it with the less than 980 Ti approach and see how high you can get MXAA and keep your frame your uh, frames per second uh, as a bonus I'm gonna go ahead and turn back on the fast anti uh, you know the fast um, vertical sync and try these DSR settings with that we're gonna put vertical sync back on fast now we rerun the game and this is where hopefully we'll see the magic happen okay and it's on 4k right now and I can tell you that it is no doubt faster moving and remember this this the 4k DSR setting that we at right now yep 3840 by 2160 and although the refresh rate the refresh rate doesn't um, reflect uh, the, the refresh rate does not reflect the actual increase in performance that I'm that I'm actually feeling right now All right, so you might want to try this out for yourself to see exactly what I mean But the performance increase is there 